Hey guys, it's Joan from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything about brushes, the brush tool in Adobe Illustrator, from how to create a brush, how to make a new brush, how to edit an existing brush to make a new brush as well. Yep, that's part of how to create a new brush. And then I will also talk about how to save a brush, a lot of things. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. Okay, so let's get started with the brushes panel. You can open a brush panel from the overhead menu window, brushes. And then you can drag it out or leave it um, together with other panel tops. If you want to learn more about Illustrator Workspace Basics, I do have a video where I talk about everything you need to know about uh, Illustrator Workspace in just less than 10 minutes. And um, yeah, you can find the link in the description below. All right, so once you open the brushes panel, you can select any brush here. I know there are not many options, unlike in Photoshop. Um, however, you can open different brush categories from the brush libraries menu and then choose uh, different type of brushes. But honestly, I really feel like the brushes in Illustrator is not so useful. Uh, that's why we would create our own brush sometimes. And um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you how to use a brush tool in Adobe Illustrator. Obviously, you need to select the brush tool from the toolbar. So in the toolbar, it's actually called the paint brush tool, or you can use a keyboard shortcut B to activate the brush tool. So once you have the brush tool selected, you can choose any of the brushes here as your brush stroke. Let's say if you want to use a different brush, I like to use a Wacom 6D brushes and then you can start drawing. And then somehow if you want to edit the brush a little bit, you can actually do that as well by double clicking on the brush option. And it's going to open a brush options panel. You can actually create a new brush directly from here. You can change the name to maybe it was, this was the original brush. You can change it to edited. And then you can actually change the angle of the brush and you can make it a little bit rounded. So you can change the roundedness by uh, moving the sliders and you can also adjust the brush size. All right, I'm just going to make it a little bit more rounded so then you can differentiate from the original one. And uh, since I have this stroke selected, it's going to ask me if I want to keep the existing brush or apply the changes. So I'm going to just leave it. And uh, with this edited version of this brush selected, I'm going to um, just draw something else. So as you can see, the brush style or stroke, they change a little bit. However, if you want to create a brush totally from scratch or from a graphic, there's another method. So, okay, I'm just going to remove all these. And let's say I want to create a square brush. Actually, you can turn any shape into a brush or any vector into a brush. And I'm going to show you the easiest example, which is um, creating a square brush. So all I need to do is create a square while using the rectangle tool, hold the shift key to create a square. And I'm going to fill it with black or make it a little bit smaller. Simply select the object and then drag it to the brushes panel. And then um, you can choose different type of brushes, scatter brush, art brush, or pattern brush. I'm just going to select art brush. And then you can kind of adjust the settings of this brush. Since it's a square, there's nothing much to adjust, I would say. As you can see, if you adjust, it doesn't change much. And click OK, and you will see the brush on your brush panel. And if you want to use this brush, simply select the brush tool again, and then select this brush and draw on your artboard. All right, I'm going to show you another example of creating a brush. I'm going to make a cloud shape, maybe, since it's one of the easiest shape to make. Well, using the Shape Builder tool or just the Pathfinder tool, I'm going to just make a brush here, make a cloud here. All right, again, usually we do create a, a art brush, so I'm going to go ahead and drag the cloud to the brush panel and select Art Brush and click OK. Same thing, 
you don't need to make much edit here all you need to do is click OK and then select the brush tool select the cloud and you can start drawing so okay how about a scatter brush if you select that if you click on the artboard it's going to create multiple clouds well I know it's hard to understand by saying it I'm going to show you how it works I'm going to keep the default settings so for example you already made this brush here and then simply select the brush tool again with the cloud brush selected and if you draw it's going to create multiple clouds since uh, it follows a path that you are creating so if you want to make maybe a pattern in the background or if you want to fill an area with this kind of pattern i would say that you can make a, a scatter brush However, it's definitely not the pattern brush. Let me show you an, an example of how the pattern brush works. So this cloud, I'm going to drag it again, choose pattern brush. And you can see that, um, yeah, it creates a pattern, something like that. I know you are seeing the brush here. However, if you open a new document, this brush is actually not saved in your brushes library. So if you want to save a brush, well, if you don't trust me, I can show you a quick example. Let's say I create a new document and then you don't see the new cloud brush that we just created. So if you want to save a brush for future use, you do have to select the brush and go to the brush libraries menu and save brushes. And then it's going to automatically save in the brushes uh, folder in Adobe Illustrator. You can give a name to the brush cloud and click save. And if you want to find a brush, here's where you can find it. If you go to the brush libraries menu again and go to user defined and you can find the cloud brush. Yeah, as you can see, you can find the cloud brush in the brushes panel. As I said before, Illustrator doesn't have that many options of brushes or the options they are not quite useful for me at least. That's why I love to create my own brushes from time to time, especially uh, when I create watercolor drawing. Yeah, so for example, I created like uh, a lot of watercolor drawing brushes since I find them uh, much more practical than the ones they already have in Adobe Illustrator. And I decided to share them with you. So if you are interested to get watercolor brushes, uh, then you can definitely download them for free. And I will have the link in the description below. Besides that, if you want to learn how to make watercolor in Adobe Illustrator, I also have a tutorial teaching you how to use the watercolor brushes in Adobe Illustrator to create this kind of watercolor drawings, although it's not as good as in Photoshop, but it's better than nothing. I know that's a lot of information. Hope you're already more familiar with the brush tool in Adobe Illustrator. If you do want to learn more about Illustrator basics, I do have a course where I talk about everything about graphic design from tools and basics to logo design, typography, and at the end of the course, I will also share some tips about how to get a job as a beginner graphic designer. So yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, you can find the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos.